This island in the Indian Ocean supports thriving seabird colonies and rich coral reefs. But nearby, other islands are eerily silent. The cause of this difference lies in a complex web of birds, rats, coral and poop. The Chagos Archipelago in the Indian Ocean is home to over 60 tropical islands, nearly a third of which are completely free from invasive species like rats or foxes. This safe haven for birds creates quite the cacophony. So here we are in the Chagos Archipelago. Uh, we're on a rat-free island. There's ne never been rats on this particular island. There's a huge, abundant diversity of seabirds here. Terns, sea waters, boobies, frigate birds. On neighbouring islands, however, the arrival of sailing ships in the 1800s brought an unwanted visitor, rats. The rodents bred like, well, rodents. They devoured seabird eggs and chicks until they all but wiped out the bird populations. In contrast to this island, where there's rats, there's very, very few seabirds. The skies are empty and it's very quiet. But the story doesn't stop there, because the birds play a critical role in the wider ecosystem, all thanks to their poop. Now these birds return to the islands where they roost and they, and they breed and they deposit huge amounts of guano or bird poop onto the islands. And this guano is highly rich in nitrogen, so they're effectively fertilising the islands. This nitrogen is great for plants, which thrive on the rat-free islands. But scientists wondered whether this aerial nitrogen delivery system was also impacting the surrounding coral reefs. So we then went out into the uh, shallow waters there and sampled sponges that filter feed and macro algae. And those fish that are feeding on the algae out on the reef crest, we were able to look at their growth rates. The team found that rat-free islands had two and a half times more nitrogen across the entire ecosystem. And fish living on the nearby reefs grew faster and bigger than those around rat-infested islands. These fish graze on algae that otherwise covers the coral, slowing its growth. The scientists observed three times more grazing on the reefs surrounding rat-free islands. These healthier reefs may be more resilient to climate change. When it comes to interwoven ecosystems like those of the Chagos Archipelago, it seems invasive species like rats have a bigger impact than we thought. So de-ratting oceanic islands in archipelagos such as this should really be a very high priority for conservation. It's not difficult to de-wrap these islands and it would have a huge impact on both the terrestrial environment and the adjacent marine environment. The team is now urging governments to consider investing in rat extermination programmes as a way to save coral reefs. This unusual solution could be a quick and cost-effective tool in the fight against coral decline, all due to a complex chain linking rats, birds, fish, coral and poop. <laughs>